Hi folks, welcome back. We're here on commercial, I'm sorry, appro approaching Commerce Street, here on Charleston Boulevard, approaching Interstate 15 as we go underneath the railroad overpass here. Some parked railroad cars there. This area tends to flood. And considering all these rains we've had today from uh, what has been the courtesy of one Hurricane Hillary, about 900 miles south of us, off the Baja of California. There's a wholesome bread place right there with the stratosphere right behind it. And we're here at uh, Grand Central Parkway. We're actually here next to North Premium Outlets, Las Vegas Premium Outlets here. Off of Charleston and Grand Central. And we're gonna jump on the 15 and merge then quickly onto uh, US 95. Just a quick reminder, if you like what you see, please like and subscribe to our channel so we can continue making more of these videos. If we get up to over a thousand subscribers, YouTube will monetize the channel. We can use that to send our son to college. Totally free to you, no cost whatsoever. Also on TikTok, please like and follow us on TikTok as well. We really, really appreciate it. As we get on the I-15 on-ramp north, we do not want to get on either of those streets, so we'll stay over here. World Market Center is over here on the right. I know it's hard to read with the rain all over the windshield. And we're going to go south on I-515 slash US-93 slash US-95. Has a definite personality disorder. They did just finish this whole interchange not too long ago, a couple years ago actually, as all these folks head out to the north, the northern edges of town, northern and western actually, because you can take the 95 north to end up on Summerlin, which is what some folks do. Take exit 42B to go south. On US Highway 95 slash US Highway 93, US slash Interstate 515. And over here on the right is going to be downtown Las Vegas. Downtown Las Vegas was here first, I believe. If my history serves me, see the circuit there? That's the tallest building here downtown. Stadium swim there. I haven't been, but I've heard good things about it. You see Main Street Station there. I've been to the station casinos. The vast majority of the Las Vegas Strip is actually just outside Las Vegas city limits. Reason being, a lot of uh, casino owners did not want to be subjected to the uh, laws and ordinances that the city of Las Vegas back then was implementing, so they decided that they were going to build just outside of the city limits down on what is now the Las Vegas Strip, so that's why uh, Fl Flamingo is no located down there as uh, the Rancho used to be, El Rancho used to be, and there was a little bit of ponding right there. It has been raining for about five hours, pretty much non-stop, and again, all courtesy of Hurricane Hillary. Just a reminder, if you like to see, please like and subscribe to our channel so we can continue making more of these videos. If we get up to over a thousand subscribers, YouTube will monetize the channel. We can use that to send our son to college. Totally free to you, no cost whatsoever, and also on YouTube. Or we are on YouTube. Also on TikTok, please like and follow us on TikTok as well. Let us know if you uh, there's something you want to see or you haven't uh, seen something that you want to see. We just finished uh, Naked City down there, showing uh, Naked City, and there's a bunch of other videos as well. Flash when flashing, reduce speeds. That's what the message board says. It's traffic here at Eastern tends, does tend to back up pretty badly. We exit at Eastern Avenue. And to be honest, after having driven all over town here this evening, I'm very surprised we haven't seen more in the way of accidents. Probably because it's a Saturday and there's a lot of folks who uh, aren't on the roadways they normally would be. And uh, let's see a police officer over here on the right. I'm sorry, on the right side of the other side of the highway on the left. The shoulder it looks like. Curve, the big curve that goes back 
southbound on US 95. You can see police over there. It looks like they've got a sign up here for what is supposed to be an exit only for Charleston Boulevard. This construction's been going on for over a year now. Charleston has been a mess right here at the interchange with US 95. side of town. We approach Charleston Boulevard. And just a quick reminder, if you like to see, please like and subscribe to our channel so we can continue making more of these videos. If we get up to over a thousand subscribers, YouTube will monetize the channel. We can use that to send our son to college. Totally free to you. No cost whatsoever. And also on TikTok. Please like and follow us on TikTok. We really appreciate it. backing up here. I'm not sure if it's because of Charleston or not. And all that construction. They've got some lanes reduced there underneath Charleston. Or underneath the overpass 95 and Charleston. And you can see a ramp exit sign up here. So we will be taking that. Hopefully we won't be sitting in much traffic here on a Saturday night. Charleston Boulevard exit. And again, we do chop these videos up into shorts for YouTube. That is YouTube's answer to TikTok. So if you're seeing this, damn. I mean, darn. These roads are really tricky. And if you're seeing this on uh, YouTube, as a one minute short, we do post the entire video up on um, YouTube as a part of our library. We've got some ponding in the roadway here. And we're going to make this left right here to go east on Charleston. Another one of these curious oddities where you have to stop at the other opposite direction exit ramp. There's a lot of homeless in this area at this interchange. Hopefully they're staying dry right now. And we finally got moving here on East Charleston. Just in time to get caught at the light at Sacramento. That's always fun. And the light is finally turned green here. I believe it's on a timer because of the uh, construction. And we continue eastbound here on Charleston Boulevard at uh, close to 11 p.m. Home Depot up here on the right. And apologies for the wipers and the rain on the windshield again, the water on the windshield. It's hard with the uh, water that's on the roadway not getting kicked up on the windshield, so my apologies for that. As we pass Lamb Boulevard here. and the Charleston Indoor Swap Meet over here on the left side. Very popular place here on the east side of town. As we pass the light here at Arden slash Marion, it's Arden on the south side of Charleston and Marion on the north side. That doesn't ever get confusing, right? Of course, that's uh, not just exclusive to that particular road. They do that all over town. As we continue east on Charleston Boulevard, driving through what is uh, the beginnings of Hurricane Hillary, at least the leading edge of it, which has been for about the last five hours. As we go through a dip, that was a nice dip. Just a quick reminder, if you like what you see, please like and subscribe to our channel so we can continue making more of these videos. If we get up to over 1,000 subscribers, YouTube will monetize the channel. We can use that to send our son to college. Totally free to you, no cost whatsoever. Also on TikTok, please like and follow us on TikTok as well. We really, really appreciate it. And thank you to all of you who've already joined and followed and liked and subscribed. Without, a, without you, there is no us. So thank you. And uh, thanks to those of you in India and the UK and Canada 
and Australia, we see you and we thank you. Looking over here at this Chevron gas station, a Terribles gas station. It's a curious name. Took me a while to get used to seeing a gas station around town. It's a chain actually called Terribles. But it doesn't really uh, reflect the quality products that they sell. They sell good stuff. And there's a Target and a Coles up here on the right side, just past Nellis, but it looks like their lights are out, so they are closed for business this Saturday evening. As we finally get the light here at Nellis. And again, just a quick reminder, if you like what you see, please like and subscribe to our channel so we can continue making more of these videos. If we get up to over a thousand subscribers, YouTube will monetize the channel. We can use that to send our son to college. Totally free to you, no cost whatsoever. And also on TikTok. Please like and follow us on TikTok. We really appreciate those of you who've already joined and followed and liked. And we're so glad that you're here. And uh, approaching the light here at Christie Lane, we have some other videos of Christie that we've done as we travel through some ponding water there. We have some other videos of uh, driving up and down Christie here on the east side of town. So please feel free to check those out as well on our YouTube and TikTok channels. You can see the lights are flashing up there at the light at Sloan. Um, usually that happens if the power went out. I don't know if that's the case. Sometimes they, I know back east they'll do it where uh, they don't expect a whole lot of traffic for the rest of the day, so they put the intersection out of service for the evening, for all of night, as this individual cuts over two lanes. And this is a considered a four-way stop when the red lights are flashing like this, so I hope no one tries to go flying through there. And they do not. Good. At least not here with me. So we'll wait for this mini -bay. And proceed. There's an Albertsons over here on the right, grocery store, and it looks to be closed now as well. I'm not sure what time they close, but uh, they are certainly closed now. Thank you for joining all of us on this very rainy, very wet Saturday night in Las Vegas and uh, sharing the journey with us. It is all about the journey, folks, not about the destination. And again, just a quick reminder, if you like what you see, please like and subscribe to our channel so we can continue making more of these videos as we approach Treeline Drive. If we get up to over a thousand subscribers, YouTube will monetize the channel. We can use that to send our son to college. Totally free to you, no cost whatsoever. And also on TikTok, please like and follow us on TikTok. We really, really appreciate it. Thanks for joining, everyone. We'll see you again next time.